got a green light, Strike Team. Happy hunting. You have your order, Strike Team. Hey everyone, it's an aging zombie here. Jumping back into Cold War zombies. With Black Ops 6 right around the corner. I've been wanting to come back on here and really kind of get to know realm-based zombies. I've gotten so accustomed to and comfortable with the open world zombies. And since that's going to be going away, I wanted to come on here and figure all of this out. Because I did play it a couple months ago. It was my first time playing Cold War Zombies. It was fun. I enjoyed it. And I did want to come back and play more. Uh, just haven't done it yet. And so I wanted to come in here and uh, complete D machine. I wanted to go through, complete all the Easter eggs for the story mission and get this done. And I'm, <laughs> I'm really glad I decided to do this because this has been, this has been tough. Uh, way harder than Modern Warfare Zombies in my opinion. Maybe it's just because I am really inexperienced, but this is my probably... 18th attempt trying to complete this and I just I keep dying keep dying so we'll see if I can get it done this time dropped another one should have stayed out of my way. So one thing I learned just this last, at the end of this last run that I did where I died, uh, you can like upgrade your weapons and field upgrades. I had no freaking idea. I had had everything at level one trying to get all this done. Um, this shotgun's been really good, but now I've like upgraded it to like level four or whatever. Cause I had noticed when I'd like the round had finished or whatever, it was like, oh, you got a raw Ethereum crystal. And I was like, what do you mean raw Ethereum crystal? I can't bring in things and like pack a punch my gun right away. And so I started like poking around and I had noticed that on the creative class that it was like, oh, this is level one. Or level zero or whatever because i hadn't upgraded it at all so i figured out how to upgrade so hopefully this gun and i also i've been using energy mine and it's just not been it's not been good so i'm gonna try out tesla storm see if maybe that's a little better because yeah, I just get in these like really tight positions where it's like, oh no, 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 no. And I try and drop the energy mine and it takes too long to deploy and then trigger. Whereas Tesla mine is instant. It just shocks them. Now, the only thing I'm worried about is, is this going to be like in Modern Warfare Zombies when it first came out like with dead wire? You know, if you shot, um, if you shot a zombie and accidentally ran into it, you were... You got stuck on them, so I don't know if you get stuck on these zombies or you get to run through them like you currently do in Modern Warfare Zombies. So, we'll see. This facility was not equipped with automatic doors. I would proceed with caution. Yeah, Semtex. Anything to share by your old employer, Dr. Strauss? Any ideas what Omega Group's interest was in Project End Station? Unfortunately, my time here was focused entirely on atomic research. Oh gosh. Stories. Terrible. Mysterious gateways, unnatural transformations. <laughs> that aside, we should restore power. Oh, all right. I've got 3000. So let's go back down there. Yeah, yeah. I'll send flowers later. This door, and then this door. Now, this one is seventeen fifty. I need this door open. 
this one, I'm fine kind of staying here. Dealing with the hordes in the... Oh my goodness gracious, what is wrong with me? Um, Because for the most part, you can, worst case scenario, funnel them up this way. Sometimes it's absolutely quiet like this, and other times it's a good amount that are just constantly running at you. And I... So that's the thing that I still haven't figured out fully after all these runs and attempts here. How the rounds work exactly. Um, because sometimes I feel like I'm stuck on a round for quite a while. And other times I'm like, how did I already end up on round 14? So I'm kind of confused on that. Is it? I don't know if it's like time-based, kill-based, event-based. I don't know that yet. Oh. Yep, and I'm about to go. That's right, I do need to be starting to run this way. Actually, let's just take care of this really quick. Grab that. Grab the part for the machine. AKA Pack Punch. Okay, so I can pack a bunch. Nice. Armor. Can't do weapon. Okay, so that's 500. I should have looked at that first before doing the armor. But you live and you learn. Okay, so now I'm going to go outside. And I'm going to try and do two things at once. So the to get the die gun, I need the radioactive, I think it's like mega bomb, mega something, uh, to spawn. And I'm also going to try and get it to shoot this fungi because you need that fungi to be activated by their blast. So I try and get both those done at the same time. This fungus. Yeah, there we go. There we go. Perfect. So now I can clear these out. Super careful behind. That two times? Yeah. 
feel like 90% of the time when I get that, it's like after I've cleared out the horde. So it's nice I'm getting it kind of early, but I don't want to go down. Oop. go oh I need the key card what did I accidentally pick up still got some text and decoys so I think I'm okay I got a window for chopper exfil strike team take it if we need to regroup okay and let's do that to kind of top it off Let me go upgrade my gun a little bit here. Drop. Come on in. I've had more than enough of you. This is the other thing that I don't understand fully is like, how come when they take swipes at me? It goes straight to my health and not my plates. Next. Okay, got that cleared up. So let's uh do these now. Oops. Isotopic estrangement machine. It absorbs the energy of the living creatures and unleashes a devastating shockwave blast. Great. No, I don't want. Oh, I do have the. Uh... I have the canister now. Let me go try and get these to follow me and then go place them. Kind of the perfect timing for this to happen. Yeah. The container appears to have captured gaseous residue. Uh, I got the gun. Oh, the vial. I shot the vial off. <laughs> Whoops. Need to go pick up the vial, and I also need to then fill it with the sap. Then I can work on the story mission. I mean, I guess technically this is part of the story mission. You have to do this stuff to progress it. Oh, I thought that was a new... I got excited. Ooh, I can go pack a punch too. Yeah. Once this is all filled up. There it goes. Okay, hold on. There's too many here. I do this all the time. I go like, I think I can get this before the horde engulfs me. And then I always go down, so I'm going to hold off. Play this smart. Not like I normally do. Why don't you learn your lesson? Oh, uh, big boy spawned, okay. That's why. I was like, man, what the heck is happening? Oh, yes. Okay, 
Okay, so he's splitting. Let's blow this for now. Upgrade to two. Nice. Ooh, I can go to three? Yeah, let's do that. Oh, and I can do that? Oh, beautiful. Okay, this is the most, like, decked out I've been so far. Okay. Start heading this way. There's that one. Probably then get all three in this one Dark Aether run. So these items, yeah, they always spawn in the, the same three spots. It's just random as far as, like, which one it spawns at. And only one will spawn at a time. I want to interact with this, but there's so many, and normally I just throw a decoy and go for it, but then I always end up dying. So, try and clear it out. Perfect. It's Here we go. Day, strike team. We have new orders from the director. We are to shut down the dimensional breach in an effort to contain the spread. Oh, let's Suggestions. see. It's this way, I think. If you wish to achieve absolute separation between dimensions, You'll have to shut down the atom Can I get anything? Nope. I'd imagine that computer is Oh, I'm almost able to pack a punch three. Shut the Ooh. things talking they don't attack you but as soon as he's done talking they attack or if you attack them then they start coming after you Reminds me of like red light, green light. Red light. <laughs> oh wow, that goes down so much quicker now that it's pack, pack punch three. Oh, it's pulling me out. Shoot. Okay. Okay, I can go pack a bunch, and I think the portal is open again. Oh gosh, slid right into that. Or not pack a bunch, I wanted a, a speed cola. Okay. 
Okay, so now I need to go back up to where I had started this kind of part of the quest. And interact with a computer. Okay, so now, now I use the wonder weapon that I got. I have to get various ammo mods. Oops, that's a dead body. Oh boy. Oh gosh. Oh boy. Oh boy. Run, run, run. I should get Jugnog. Uh, okay, yeah, one of them. One of them should spawn here. Bring it on. I can take it. Okay, that anomaly's there. Stay out of my way. What can I tell you? I'm working through some anger issues. Oh man. I preemptively called in my field upgrade. I was a little worried. Okay, so one of these ammo things should be. Oh, it's right here. Here we go. Okay, let's come over here. Grab that. Ah, yes. Nova 5. Fortunately for us, unlike Nova 6, it is not fatal to humans, but should still prove effective on your enemies. And then you shoot these guys. One of them. Luckily, I got the right one. So now let's head back out. I'm trying to think. Did I get this one already? Let's see. It's like a crate here as well. Yeah, I did. Nice. So then the cryo. Probably cryo this one. I think it would be quite effective nope. for containing your adversaries. Whoop. No, 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 I threw out my decoy, what the heck? Boy, that was close. Don't talk to me about strength and fucking numbers. Oh shit. <laughs> Is that it? Well, it's supposed to do one of these. There we go. Okay, so this one has always... Okay, here it is. Place the cutter. Perfect. Once you get that one, come over to this crate. I have heard talk of this ammo. I seem to recall it being described as... Uh, that's right. A great ball of fire. So one of these, this one maybe? Hey, look at that. Okay, so now the last one, you apparently there should be a portal back here, yep.
Oh, there it is. Okay, so let's get back down there. I think off to the side is a crate, and you shoot it. Bink. And then there's two more spots where you have to go do that. Wow, I don't know how I survived that. So let's buy the ammo before... Shoot, which side is it? There it is. Oh, did I miss? I think I missed it. Oh no, it's it's there. The second little orange thing pops up on it. Okay, so then the last one is down in like the lower fields, which I probably should have just taken a jump portally thing. Because it's probably going to pull me out before I can get there and get it. Okay, so I have it. So I think I can take this to go down. Can I still take that? Yeah. There you are. Okay, so now I have to go do this last piece here, or shoot the last piece here. Okay, so, oh that's right, I need to get a mega bomb to spawn. And then split it and then have them walk under here. Subject. That subject or under this. The accelerator. So now that he's split, he's got to walk under this. Get sucked up. Oh, that's right. I think I have to... I think I have to interact with the computer. Nope. Oh, boy. Do I have to do something else? What do I have to do? I know I need them in two. Okay, I think... I looked it up. I remember now. You gotta go in here first. <laughs> I thought after you uh, hit all four of those things, you're good and you... Uh, you can go straight into kind of completing... Oh boy. No, I, oh, I shouldn't have thrown that. God, that was stupid of me. Okay, I need to go by. Oh boy. I'm out of ammo. Oh. I need to go by a self revive. I know this thing's super powerful. Oh gosh. I'm so nervous because this is the furthest I've gotten. I don't want to die. <laughs> I have plenty of stuff, though, to buy a self-revive, so I'm not worried about that. Let's 
things like this that I'm so like in awe that like people were able to figure this out. That's crazy to me. Dropped him. Because who would have thought to take this wrench and come over to this tank and bang on it? Another screamer side. Okay, I want to keep those guys split and alive. Oh, I threw that way too high. <laughs> there we go. Ooh. Okay, now apparently this part is a little tricky because you have to... Um... Run with this thing, but apparently you run faster backwards when you do forwards. A little trick I learned. Thanks to internet. Ooh, but I need to drop and kinda... No! 3.30, okay, I have enough. Oh, no I don't. Okay, I need to get out here. Come over to here. Place this in here. There we go. Now these Megaton blasters can come in here, I think. But did I accidentally kill one? Well, Where, oh, there's the other one. Perfect. Ideas. This entire idea is already the oh gosh. Come on, buddy. Here we go. Here we go. Think it's right here. A hey. Okay, so from my understanding, well, first of all, this is crazy. This is the furthest I have gotten. <laughs> this feels really good, but then he drops a um, picture, and once you pick it up, the final boss battle starts. I want to go see. I've got 4,050. Um, uh. Salvage. I want to see if I can get legendary with that because I'm only at epic rarity. And then I also want to go try and buy.
Nope, can't do that. Okay. Well, perks it is. Nope, back over here. All right, well, let's go attempt this. Let's go see if I can beat the boss. Okay, and I've heard the electric gun is actually pretty good down here. And that you basically just need to let this guy do his thing. You. Hopefully. I don't think I'm going to get this. That was brutal. Oh. That's a bummer. Well, darn. Oh, that's frustrating. Uh, man, I I tried so hard to get that done. Um, now, granted, that's so that's the first I've got. Typically, I would get the the die gun, so the wonder weapon. I would get the wonder weapon and die relatively quick after that. I don't know what it was. I just for some reason all of a sudden would get swarmed and would die. So it felt good to finally push past that and get all the other things done and make it to the final boss. I really wanted to get uh, the final boss done, but man, I had just, just started and just got obliterated. So I'll have to come back in another time and try that. But man, round-based zombies is a whole new beast. When I tried it a couple months ago, it was kind of just a, yeah, let me just jump on here and give it a try. Um, but today I just really wanted to give it a good try and I am so glad I did because yes I'm gonna need I'm gonna need practice I'm gonna need practice for round base and because it is very different than the open world experience from modern warfare zombies so it'll be very interesting to see how players like me who that's their kind of first jumping point into call of duty zombies how they handle the transition over to the round based um, if there's anyone in that boat that is watching this video and has made it this far, I recommend if you're able, cause I think you still have to buy this game. If you're able to afford it, um, buy this game, give round base to try kind of, you know, get a feel for the fundamentals of this mode. If you want to get into black ops six zombies, if you don't really want to get into black ops six zombies, yeah, don't really worry about it. So, but, uh, kind of close, <laughs> um, Till the next video, I hope everyone enjoyed this one. Peace.